Hi guys, uh, thank you for uh, joining me again in another video. Uh, today we're going to go around the peninsula of Fete Town. Uh, lots of boats, beaches and the sun is shining. Have a look at that. So come and follow me and Miss Neela here around the peninsula on this beautiful Saturday afternoon and see what's going on. That direction. That direction. Uh, today we're in uh, Karagosla, and uh, which is a, a suburb of uh, Fete Town, and it's a beautiful scorching day, Saturday afternoon. I just thought, let's drive around the peninsula and then show you uh, the boatyard, uh, the, the bay of Fete, it's stunning, and also maybe a couple of beaches thrown in there as well. So watch this video, stay with us, a lot happening, and it's uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, you tell me in the comments below if it is or not, okay? So follow me this direction, and we'll uh, have a look at the peninsula of Fete Town. Absolutely stunning. And me and this lady here are going to do it. Enjoy. So, everyone, uh, we're going to head to Hell Beach, which is on the peninsula of Fetier. Uh, so, this is driving through the main part of the town. It's really beautiful, <coughs> lined with shops, cafes. It's absolutely wonderful, and the beaches are literally. 10 minutes from this spot driving so I do recommend that you either uh, take a motorbike for the day or hire a car for the day and drive around this peninsula is absolutely stunning so before we get to the beach I'd like to take you to the top left hand side there there's a road going up and it's uh, got a beautiful views over the Bay of Fete. so I'd like to show you that prior to us going to the beach so hang around for the beach the beaches are brilliant uh, oh this boy is uh, having a bit of fun wonderful anyway so we're going to head to the past the boatyard here on the right hand side and we're going to take a left and go up the top of the hill and have a look at the stunning views over the bay of Fete <coughs> you get to the Doric Hotel here and you take a sharp left and then a sharp right and then at the top of the hill, it's quite magnificent. So hang around. So when you get to the top of the hill, uh, to the top road, uh, you come across the first place, it's called the El Camino. It's actually a hostel and pub. And it's uh, got a lot of backpackers and so on. But it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it serves food and drinks and cocktails. You can spend the day here. Is, but the views, the reason I came here is for the views. Have a look at this, people. Fete is one of the most beautiful little towns that you're bound to find in the Mediterranean. And this is a Caragosla location of the town. It has a five-star marina directly in front of you there. What are the views like from this little bar? Absolutely wonderful. So that's the first location that you will hit on the top road. Second location, just two minutes from there, is the Casa Margo Hotel. I thought it would be nice, this is practically next door, is to bring you in here and show you similar views. <coughs> Now this is a restaurant as well, and you don't need to stay in a hotel to come here and have food and drinks and enjoy these wonderful views, like these people are. These guys know how to enjoy themselves. This is exactly where you get the ferry boat if you want to do a day trip over to the island of Rhodos, Rhodes, just down there on the left hand side. But I think you'll agree, the views of this stunning bay, this is a bay of Fetier. It's quite extraordinary. <coughs> 
can you see yourself sitting here having breakfast and just look at that isn't it great so we carry on along the, the back road and this is just walking distance from the hotel Guys, when you come on this back, back road uh, all the way up uh, Karagosler area of Fetier, uh, it's just wonderful. Everybody's parking their cars. Uh, I'll have to show you here. Uh, they're all parking their cars and the road goes all the way around uh, to the other side of Fetier and it's a, a, quite a beautiful wood uh, with tables and chairs uh, situated all the way along it, okay, with these wonderful views. Check this. Probably the best view you're going to get in Fetier, to be honest with you, okay? So, it doesn't matter where you go in this peninsula, you're going to get a sea view, and it's going to be quite outstanding. So, get yourself up this back road, guys. Cara goes to Fetier. So, these are the seating areas I was saying. They are uh, actually uh, all around the top road. This one's overlooking uh, Fetier Amphitheatre. Uh, this amphitheatre is just down uh, opposite the promenade. <coughs> It's had a renovation a few years ago. <laughs> Lots of young kids up here uh, taking selfies. As, as I said to you before, it's probably the best place to get photographs. And uh, all these seating areas. You can bring your own food, bring your own drinks. It's a great feel up here, isn't it? Uh, absolutely wonderful. Bye. Uh, as I say, all the kids are up here taking selfies, and as I said, also you can bring your own food, you can bring your drinks, you can bring your cocktails, <coughs> and you got breakfast, lunch, uh, even evening time. The bright lights of the town are shining bright, and it's absolutely breathtaking. And there's a platform here to get these wonderful photos that you'll probably use on your social media. How nice is that, people? How nice is that? So we do hope you've enjoyed uh, our little time up in the top road in Fetty. Uh, we're on the bottom road now and we're just passing the, the very popular yacht hotel uh, where Daniel Craig stayed when they were making the James Bond movie in this town. And this road just follows around the, the coastline and I said to you before it only takes 10 minutes to get to Help Beach. You pass all these lovely boaty areas. Uh, it's quite uh, beautiful to look at. In a second, we're just going to pass through uh, the boatyard. This is the boatyard. The road cuts right through the town boatyard. Uh, they're, they're all getting repaired in the winter period. It's a lovely thing to see. So, guys, uh, just as you're uh, coming through the boatyard, uh, we just noticed one of these little uh, places selling uh, street food here, yeah? and they're doing coffee, uh, which is meatballs, and they do sandwiches. And it's I love stopping off at these places. Uh, uh, just as, just as you come around. Now we've just obviously came from that there, which is uh, the top road in Fetier, and it just took us five minutes to drive here. If you've got a motorbike, wonderful, especially in this weather. Eh? So look, these little places, the street food places. Uh, this one's got uh, tables and chairs here uh, with a five star view, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't cost you any money like the top restaurants, so sometimes it's best to use them. And um, where am I now? I'm right next to the Fetty Sailing Club. I, I think you'll agree that it's quite outstandingly beautiful.
And what am I going to do? I'm here with Miss Neelai. Hello, Miss Neelai. Hello. Hello. We're going to go right there. We're going to have a meatball sandwich. And then after we've had our sandwich, we're going to carry around the peninsula, guys. I'm just going to show you one or two little beaches that are just round there, five minutes away. Okay, so stay around for the next part of the video. Hope you're enjoying so far. Neelai has the best seat in town today, she really does. Have a look at this view. Oh, careful China, careful. What a nice way to spend a Saturday afternoon, eh? On a canoe. <laughs> Nico sandwich. Look at our beautiful view. No money. So as you turn the corner, uh, you'll see these signs. You turn right to go to some beaches, but you take a left and you'll go to the Hillside Beach Club and up the hill to the Hell Beach and also see me beaches up there as well. <clears throat> when you get to the top of the hill, you see these signs again and see me beaches direct. But uh, Hell Beach is up this road. You just take a right and keep following the road. It's quite beautiful. And as I say, it's only a few minutes drive from the main town. Uh, please don't miss it guys, have a look how beautiful is this and this is Simi Beach, we're not going to go down there today so we'll have a panoramic view from the top and then after that we'll go down and walk on Help Beach but just have a look at this Fethi Town is of course uh, very Turkish uh, but this part of uh, Fethi it's got a sort of Thailand feel about it. Uh, the uh, islands, the beaches. Stunning uh, location. Uh, mountains all around. Uh, forests all around that. Uh, a little bit like Thailand uh, from this location viewing. Let's uh, zoom in on the beach itself. Uh, look how nice that is. And this is winter period, so it's just Turkish people, local people using the beach. Uh, but look at the backdrop, guys. Just look at the backdrop. Isn't it fantastic? And when you're on that beach, you're basically looking out to the open sea. It's absolutely stunning. It's great, I love it. I absolutely love it. So I hope you're enjoying the peninsula of Fethiye town. If you ever come to the town, you probably end up just in the city centre. This is 10 minutes round the back road. And look at this, a little paradise. So approximately two minutes from that location, you just drive down a hill, it's quite stunning again, and then you get down to Hell Beach. So guys, we just uh, we came around the peninsula, another beach we hit was uh, Hell Beach. Uh, this is so different in the summer, guys. There's music playing, there's dancing, the restaurants are all open. Uh, unfortunately, just this little bit here, they give to the Turkish people, the locals, and the rest is really tourism. Uh, but you can see it's, it's a beautiful location, uh, Help Beach, uh, Google that and you get all the information, you see all the photos of what this is like in about two months time. Anyway, we're going to go down and we're going to have a look, so follow me. It's a shock to the people who come here in the summer to see it like this. Oh, I love it. Look at all these Turkish families. Look at their little kids. Look at this. A 
I can say some appear at this part of the beach. It's very difficult uh, to walk around because it's full of sunbeds. Uh, so winter period is just uh, wonderful. You've bring a table and chairs. You've got all of this space. But beware, in the summer, there's dancing, there's music, and there's sunbeds everywhere. something you never see in the summer that's for sure somebody fishing from the beach <laughs> ah, great to see i've got to say this is uh, the area where uh, it's beautiful as i said in the summer uh, at the moment it's all closed up uh, the toilet areas are in here there's a restaurant and uh, it's beautiful but there's new owners and for 2024 uh, this place is going to be a little bit different i don't know how though but it's going to be different uh, but there you go, look guys, this is the beaches we have in Turkey uh, All to ourselves in the winter period And it's absolutely beautiful And uh, there's some people were swimming, or there is somebody swimming there at the moment uh, But there was people swimming earlier on Look at the different uh, colours of the water The dark blue, the turquoise It's quite amazing These people have the right idea They bring the tables and chairs, we're going to be doing that Bring your beer uh, bring your drinks, bring the kids, bring the family, bring all your friends and just uh, use the beach. Uh, that's the way to do it, Turkish style. There are two parts to the beach. Uh, this part I think is great, I love this part. So check it out guys, check this part out. In the summer period, uh, you're paying extra for these uh, covered areas, which are, are all cushioned out and absolutely fantastic. Uh, but there is a cost to that. Uh, I'm not sure what that will be for 2024, but beautiful part of the beach. Again, there'll be a lot of sunbeds here. Uh, they've got uh, some nice buildings, and there's a bar, and there's a uh, toilet facilities here also. So, a uh, great part away from the main beach. And main beach is just down there to the right, as you can see it. So, uh, there you go, guys. This is a uh, help beach. Hope you're enjoying it. Just imagine summertime. All this open, people walking around. Beautiful. But if you're in Turkey at this moment in time, you can come down and you've got the beach practically all to yourself. Really nice. See, there's people enjoying themselves. Excellent. one thing guys, uh, if you're enjoying my videos, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, it's appreciated. Uh, Alright, so help me grow and you get more content. Okay, so that's all, so please hit that little red subscribe button on the right hand side and hit the notification bell and you get all my videos free. Alright, so do it, do it now.
Guys, that's uh, Hilt Beach. Uh, winter time in Turkey. Uh, Fetty town to be precise. Uh, it's only 10 minutes from the city centre. Uh, I'm sure you can agree with me, it's a beautiful beach in the winter period. In the summer, it's uh, slightly different, but it's absolutely stunning. Uh, and I see you've got all the facilities up, you've got the bar, the restaurant, uh, plenty of sunbeds, and uh, there's water sports. There's a lot going on, there's music, there's dancing and all that. Kind of thing. So get yourself to help each guys in the, in the summer of 2024. Uh, Neil and I thank you very much for uh, staying this far into the video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a beautiful day, the sun's shining and we're having a great time. Uh, so we're heading straight into town now, there's a lot going on. I'm going to end the video in town. Let's see what's going on, shall we? So people, we just came into town into a uh, fetty town after having a lovely day on the peninsula World Ladies Day uh, yesterday and uh, the, in the centre square Beshkaza square of Fethi uh, they're having some kind of craft fair so I just thought we'll end the video uh, in the centre of the town uh, I think there'll be some people around see what's happening and uh, show what Fethi's like in the centre, so this is nice, isn't it? So we've got the craft fair set up. People around. And this is the main square of the town. And as you can see, they've got a bouncy castle over there for the kids. The sun is shining. All the restaurants look full. Kids are having fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. See all the bars and cafes are busy today guys. It's a Saturday afternoon and uh, uh, thank you all for uh, watching the video and uh, it's just fitting that I end it in the centre of the town and uh, get yourself to this lovely place, uh, Fethi, uh, which is southern Turkey. If you've never been here before, uh, well this is uh, March so you can see how beautiful it is and uh, the summer is ten times nicer as well. So. Uh, Lots going on as you can see in this little town. Uh, get yourself here and get yourself up and about. So hi guys, uh, well listen, I hope you've enjoyed my uh, little adventure around the peninsula of Fethi. As you can tell, it's an absolutely stunning little town. Alright, so they're having a big uh, uh, craft fair on today and tomorrow. Uh, so there's a lot going on in this little busy town in the winter period. A lot more going on in the summer. So get yourself here in the summer, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that red button on the right-hand side. Subscribe, hit the bell, and you get all my videos free in the future. Okay, so listen, thanks guys, thanks for watching from this beautiful sunny day, Saturday afternoon in March in Fetty Town. Thanks for watching, been a pleasure. See you all soon, next video or in the summer. Look out for me, I'm always around. Bye for now.